Joseph Krause got things off and running for the Lakers tonight. Watch this 45 yard touchdown run and the Lakers lead South seven to nothing. But back comes South and what a night for Carson Hansen. 58 yards on this touchdown run. It would tie the game at 7-7. South on the next possession. Hansen, a 16-yard run. And then it would move to the second quarter. Garrett Savard takes it in from five, and South leads 14-7. Ensuing kickoff, this is Kraus. What a night he had. 93 yards on the kickoff return for the touchdown. Great move on the kicker. 14-14, Cougars ball, third and goal from the eight. Josh Jacobson, nice inside handoff, eight-yard TD, 21-14. Minute and a half left in the first half. Kyle Haas, five-yard TD strike to Tanner Newland, and the game's tied at 21. 27 seconds left in the half. Ball fake, Jacobson to Hanson. He has the ball. He's down the sidelines for his second score of the night. They go for two, they get it. 29-21 South at halftime. Third quarter, Cameron Miller, 10-yard gain. Check out the play by Reed Patterson. Strips the ball, it's recovered by South. Out of thin air, Joe Abbott the recovery. Then Patterson goes to work, finds Savard. Great catch, hauls it down to the seven. Next play, Hansen is in. Third touchdown of the night, 36-21. Lakers would fight back. Haas, play fake. Tyler Shaver, 34 yards on this completion, down to the two. Haas would then keep it to, tie, to make it 36-28. Fourth quarter after a Lakers fumble. Hansen again. Fourth touchdown of the night, 42-28. Then Haas completes one to Justice Lee, 15 yards first down. Shaver takes it in. From two yards, it's 42-35, but Lakeville South and Patterson, big keeper here. Great blocks out in front, 49-35. Lakeville South, a big win tonight over Prior Lake to go to 3-0. Ryan Harvey to Julian Diedrich. This combination's having a great year. 7-0 Trojans. Eagles would answer David Warren Mitchell to Terry Davis. The guy with a touchdown catch right there, the big guy, nice job. And then watch this catch by Cade Kramer. Nice touchdown strike, and the Eagles go on to win easy, 36-13. It was 15-7 going into the fourth quarter, and that quarter belonged to Eden Perry. Johnny Hartle is off to a good start this season. That's six points for the offense into the snow. How about the defense? Dan Knutson, the pick that turns into a pick six. The Eagles have been untested in moving to 3-0. Eden Prairie, 36. Why is that a 13? Bastion Swinney, the big offensive tackle for Edina, going to Cal on scholarship. Pancake block right here. The Hornets, however, in trouble in this one. Brett Thoraldson to Gavin Luksic. He'll ramble down to the one-yard line. It sets up a Will Faldorf touchdown for Bemidji. They took the lead 7-0, and they never looked back because their defense shut out Edina. The 6A Edina Hornets fall to Bemidji 35 to nothing. Edina lost their homecoming opponent and posted on Twitter for a replacement, and Bemidji volunteered to make the four-hour trip down tonight. A trip back's going to be fun for the Lumberjacks. Brett Tharaldson hits Gavin Luksic for this 42-yard touchdown. Bemidji up 14-0 early in the third quarter. Later in the third, another touchdown pass from Tharaldson. This one's going to cover 28 yards to James Williams. Boy, an eight-hour down and back, and it pays off. Bemidji wins 35-0. Hey, props to Adina. We hear they provided pizza for Bemidji's bus ride home. Love the sportsmanship. Christian Grasky, three-yard touchdown run, and the Irish are in front, 7 to nothing. Jordan Madritsky to Noah Lair, 20-yard TD strike. Rosemount up 14-0. They've got a Division I safety, number 21, linebacker. Wow, Jake Ratzlaff, big play. Rosemount wins tonight, 35 nothing the final. Champlin Park in St. Michael Albertville. This was a game put together in the last few hours of today because of a Anoka having COVID and had to cancel. Touchdown strike for Champlin there. David Collins 
Nice touchdown run for St. Michael to tie the game at seven, and their defense did the rest today. Number five, St. Michael beat number six, Champlin Park. Final score, 31-13. Minnetonka, Shakopee, Benjamin Tolkien. Touchdown for the Skippers to cut the lead to 13-7. Shakopee with under two minutes left fumbles the football. You can't do that. Minnetonka would march down the field. Will Martin to Jackson Iverson. It's a 19-yard pass. They're in business late in the game. Four downs from the Shakopee 15, and they cannot get in. Shakopee's defense holds, and Minnetonka falls. 13-7 was the final. Totino Grace at Osseo. Joe Hubble, touchdown run for the Eagles, and they lead 7-0. Kenneth McKenzie. Great run for Osseo, but watch out. He'll fumble the football, and the Eagles will recover. It's a big turnover in this game into the end zone. A few plays later, Christoph Kolakowski, but watch what happens. Owen Dukowitz picks it off. 7-7 at this, four, at this point, and Osseo wins tonight, 29-25. Same opponents, different venue. Osseo's defense gets them on the board in the second quarter. Owen oh, Dukowitz, the pick six. That had the game tied at seven at halftime. Totino Grace would surge into the lead with four minutes to go in the fourth. This touchdown from Hunter Carlson. Back and forth we went. 90 seconds left in the game. T.J. Clay gives Osseo the lead for good. They improved to 2-1 and one with a 29-25 win. Grove at home against Centennial. Connor Fournier, 28-yard field goal, ties it at 6. Centennial now goes to work in the fourth quarter. Elijah Ward, great pass to Mason Lindsay. And then Centennial in position to win the game. And Lance Liu will take it in. Centennial shocks Maple Grove. 13-6 was the final. Orono looked good. Teddy Dieters, big 52-yard run against the Chaska defense in the first quarter. It would set up the first touchdown of the game. Dieters to Noah Arneson. This combination had a big night, 7-0 in favor of Orono. And the Spartans strike first. Teddy Dieters to Noah Arneson. That's six. Both these teams well built. Chaska answers. Big Matthew Paul, all six feet four inches, takes this one and smells the end zone. He finds it just barely with a dive. Tie game. For Chaska, 10 yard TD run ties the game at seven. But Orno would win the game in part because of this combination Dieters to Arneson. It's a 44 yard gain. Great pass. Sets up Aiden Mueller on a touchdown run, and Orono surprises Chaska, 24-14. Orono on the ground. Aiden Miller gets a look, and Aiden Miller has six. Orono 3-0 after a 24-14 win over the defending champs. Jonathan DeVore, who threw five touchdown passes last week for the Zephyrs, watch this pass to Ethan Loss. Wow, that's great. Later in the first quarter, and have been for decades. Fourth quarter, St. Thomas trails by touchdown. They need to do something fast. Well, here it is. Baker Redding to Grady O'Neill in the perfect stride. A 59-yard score to tie the game at seven. Here comes Matamidi, quarterback Jonathan DeVore to Tony Newback to Jordan Hall. Yes, it's the old hook and ladder out of the Jerry Burns playbook. Down to the five-yard line. That would set up a keeper by DeVore for the touchdown. This one would go to four overtimes. St. Thomas finally prevailed 27-21 to move to 3-0 to historic McNamara Field in Hastings where the Raiders were actually the visiting team in order to let South St. Paul be the home team due to poor field conditions back in St. Paul. The Packers felt right at home though. Hastings going for the fourth down, but Colton Becker knocks the ball loose. Hastings recovers, but the drive is over. Hastings then returns the favor and then some. The loose ball picked up by team captain Jackson Schiller. Whoa, that's a hit. It was all South St. Paul from there, though. The Packers came back with a vengeance, winning 34-14 over Hastings. We get that temperature time to play. Andrew Gossman to Sir Vell Miller for six. Washburn wasted little time. They took over this game. Coming up right here on fourth and goal, stopping Richfield from getting into the end zone. Then Ramon Lee Jr. gets in to make it 14-0 Millers. But here's the big play I want you to see. Jamarian Wheeler. Will take the handoff from the shotgun and he will go absolutely untouched. 
60 yards on this touchdown run. The Washburn Millers look really good. They win tonight 47-20, they're 3-0. And, oh. and they owned it. Jamarian Wheeler gains a lane, then gains some speed, too much speed. Washburn runs away with it 47 to 20. The Nild quickly find themselves down 14 to nothing, but they answer with a beautifully contested catch. Johnny Woodford in the end zone to cut it to 14 to 7. But Chan would go on to win this football game tonight, and they will get Chaska, their arch rivals, next week. Park, and guess what? TJ Tao on the receiving end of this pass for a touchdown. They're up 6 0. Then Manny Hawkins will score a second quarter TD, and the Harding Knights are now 2-0. They beat Highland Park today, 18-10. Henry Sibley over Irondale. Cameron Latvis, the quarterback. What a fake. What a run. 60 yards for the touchdown. They win 27-7 over Irondale. Fridley against Providence Academy. Third quarter, another field goal by J.P. Lutke. Three of them on the night for the Lions. Check out the trick play, a little lateral, a little razzle-dazzle. Travone Stevenson finds Micah Newald for the nice game. Then in the fourth quarter, I love the scramble. Stevenson, a quarterback, avoids the sack, heads the opposite way, finds daylight. He scores a big touchdown, and that's how the Tigers remain undefeated. They beat Providence Academy tonight 15-9.